Fly Guy presents Snakes. Well, that was funny. Fly Guy's reading a book where to find snakes, and there's a snake popping up behind him. Watch out, Fly Guy. A boy had a pet fly named Fly Guy. Fly Guy could say the boy's name. Buzz. I know where to find snakes at the zoo, said Buzz. Look, it's the snake house. Fly Guy was curious. Fly Guy's thinking about a house with a snake in it. Snakes aren't as scary as people think, said Buzz. Let's find out more. They opened the door and stepped inside. Snakes are reptiles, lizards, turtles, and crocodiles are reptiles too. All reptiles have scaly skin and lungs for breathing and backbones. There's a snake skeleton down there. Reptiles are ectotherms. They cannot create their own body heat. They need sunlight to warm their bodies. There's a red-tailed snake. It looks like this snake is having fun in the sun. Scales protect a snake's body and help it move. Scales are made from keratin, the same material as human fingernails. This is Matilda's horned viper. Some snakes' scales grip the ground like tire threads, then muscles help them slither forward. A snake grows. It sheds its skin. It sheds all of its scales, even those covering its eyes. The new skin underneath looks bright and shiny. It has a corn snake shedding and a boa constrictor shedding. Many snakes use color and texture of their scaly skin to make it harder for other animals to see them. This is called camouflage. Buzz is camouflaged into the background of the page because his clothes look just like the wallpaper. And Fly Guy is saying Buzz and looking around. <laughs> there are more than 3,000 kinds of snakes in the world. There's a copse vine snake, a mangrove snake, a tree python, a cobra, a bushmaster, a copperhead, a long-nosed snake. Snakes live on every continent except Antarctica. Most snakes live on land. Snakes can live almost anywhere in grasslands, wetlands, deserts, forests, swamps, trees, and caves. Some snakes even live in the ocean. There's a picture of a diamond-backed rattlesnake and a green pit viper. All snakes can swim, but sea snakes have flat tails. These special tails make it easier for them to move through the water. There's an olive sea snake. Check out its flat tail. Kind of looks like an eel, doesn't it? Humans have five senses. Sight, hearing, taste, smell, and touch. Snake senses are similar, but snakes sometimes use different body parts for these functions. Snakes have two eyes, but no eyelids. Most snakes can only see what is right in front of them, and it is often blurry. A clear scale called a brill covers each eye for protection. Snakes never close their eyes. Snakes do not have external ears. They do not hear sounds the same way as humans. They also Snakes do not have external ears. They do not hear sounds the same way as humans. They feel sounds as vibrations in their bodies. That is an African bush viper. And Fly Guy saying no ears. 
snakes use their nostrils to breathe, not to smell. They have forked tongues that help them taste and smell. Snakes flick out their tongues to pick up chemicals in the air. The taste of these chemicals tell them food is nearby. This is a northern black-tailed rattlesnake. Buzz has food and fly guys drooling over it. <laughs> snake scales allow them to feel the texture of things they slither over, like sand, dirt, grass, or water. There's a Burmese python and a king cobra and a North American water snake. Some snakes have a sixth sense. Pit vipers have special organs called pits between each eye and nostril. These pits allow the snake to see the body heat of animals nearby. That means pit vipers, such as rattlesnakes, can hunt in the dark. Well, that's neat. I didn't know that. There is a Mojave rattlesnake <laughs> and a black-tailed rattlesnake. And there's an up-close version of the snake pit. And Fly Guy's hiding behind a buzz saying, Hunt flies. Pythons and boas also have pits. Their pits are located on the lips of their lower jaw. These snakes sense the heat of nearby animals. There's a boa constrictor. There's an albino Bernese python, and they're showing its pit. It's right beside its mouth. And there's a green python. Snakes have lived on Earth for about 140 million years. Wow. The largest snake ever discovered was a titanoboa. It weighed around 2,500 pounds. The Titanoboa was more than 40 feet long, and there's a picture of it. Titanoboa lived around 58 million years ago. That's 5 million years after T. rex roamed the earth. But this prehistoric giant was just as scary. The largest snake alive today is the green anaconda. Most anacondas grow as long as a pickup truck. Some can be even longer. There's a picture of a green anaconda. That one's just a baby. That one's not that big. The smallest snake is in the Barbados. It's less than four inches long. It's called the Barbados thread snake. And Fly Guy's saying, cutie's eye. And Buzz is measuring out four inches on a ruler. Snakes eat and kill other animals called prey. Snakes can eat small mammals, birds, fish, worms, and even other reptiles or snakes. There's a dice snake eating a fish. Some snakes, like boas and pythons, are constrictors. They coil their bodies around their prey and squeeze until the animal stops breathing. There's a boa constrictor squeezing its prey. The bottom of a snake's jaw is loosely attached to the snake's skull rather than to the top jaw. This allows the snake to open its mouth wide enough to swallow the animal whole. There's a ball python and a common egg-eating snake. Buzz is asking, could a snake swallow me? Many snakes like cobras, mambas, vipers, and rattlesnakes bite their prey. The snake's sharp fangs shoot a deadly poison called venom into the animal's body. There's a yellow eyelash viper biting a gecko. The poison weakens and paralyzes or kills the animal, and the snake swallows it whole. An African house snake digesting its prey. This is a Great Lakes bush viper. And Fly Guy is saying, flies bites too. And he has fangs. Sometimes snakes bite humans. Many snake bites can be treated with special medicine called antivenom. Antivenom helps the body defend itself from the poison. 
scientists use snake venom to create anti-venom. About three quarters of the world's snakes lay soft leathery eggs. These snakes are oviparous. There's the eastern hognose snakes. Fly guy saying babies and trying to give them a bottle. But says fly guy, they may not like milk. Most snakes lay their eggs somewhere warm, like in a hole in the ground under a log or in a nest of leaves. Then the snake leaves the eggs to hatch on their own. But other snakes, like python and king cobra, stick around to warm and protect their eggs. This is an Angolian python. It's hugging its eggs. Not all snakes lay eggs. Viviparous snakes give birth to live babies, anacondas, many snee snakes, and most vipers are viperas. There's a newborn copperhead with its mother. Rattlesnakes have special hard pieces on their tails. These hard pieces are made of keratin, the same material as snake scales. When a rattlesnake shakes its tail, these pieces vibrate and create a rattling sound. This sound warns predators to stay back. Way to shake, rattle, and roll. Every time a rattlesnake sheds its skin, it grows another piece on its tail. But don't try to guess a rattlesnake's age by counting its rattles. Snakes can shed a few times a year, and rattle pieces can break off easy. Some snakes live just a few years in the wild. Others can live to be 25, more than 25 years old. This is a midget faded rattlesnake. People believe many things about snakes. Some of these things are true, but some are false. True or false? A snake can grab its tail in its mouth and roll after prey, like a wheel. Do you believe this is true or false? It's false. A stressed snake may bite its own tail by mistake, but hoop snakes are not real. Snakes can hypnotize people. Do you think this is true or false? It's false. It's not true. They look like they're staring because they don't have eyelids. Snakes can dance to music. Do you think this is true or false? It's false. A snake might look like it's dancing because it can sometimes follow the movements of a flute. Snakes hiss. Is this true or false? Some snakes can push air through an organ in their mouths and their throats. That makes a hissing sound. So it's true, snakes do hiss. Flying snakes are real. Is this true or false? It's true, sort of. <laughs> Some tree climbing snakes can push off into the air and glide down to the ground. A scientist who studies snakes is called a herpetologist. A herpetologist study toxic snake venom and hope to use it to create cures for human diseases. Someday, venom that makes it hard for animals to stop bleeding could help someone who's having a heart attack. Other herpetologists work at zoos or museums. They teach people about snakes and other reptiles. We sure learned a lot. Wow, said Buzz. I had no idea how cool snakes really are. Yes, said Fly Guy. Buzz and Fly Guy could not wait for their next field trip. The end.